Hello and welcome to Droix. Today we are checking out the minis for them, Elite Mini HX90 with an unboxing and overview of the mini PC's specs and features. After we will be performing some system and gaming benchmarks, then testing a few games and emulators. Let's get started with the unboxing. Up first we have the user manual which is in multiple languages including English, Chinese and German. Next is the Minis Forum Elite Mini HX90 which we will show in more detail shortly. Under the packaging are the power brick and cable. We will include the correct adapter for your country. Next is a visa mount and screws to attach to the back of your TV or monitor. There is a HDMI cable. There's some foam feet for the stand as well as some screws and SATA cables for installing two internal drives. And last but not least there is a stand for the HX90 to position it vertically. The Elite Mini measures approximately 7.75 by 7.48 by 2.36 inches without the stand and weighs 1,190 grams. On the front there is a USB 3 port, headphone and microphone jacks and a USB Type-C port. On the back are two sets of DisplayPort and HDMI ports, supporting up to four monitors. There's a second set of headphone and microphone jacks. There's a super fast 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port and there are four USB 3 ports. You can have the HX90 horizontal like a normal mini PC or you can save even more desk space by having it vertical with the included desk stand. When it is in its vertical stand it measures 8.66 inches. Next we will take a very brief look at the technical specifications. It's running the AMD Ryzen 9 with 8 cores and 16 threads with a max frequency of 4.6 GHz. The Radeon graphics has 8 cores and runs up to 2100 MHz. Depending on the configuration for us, you can get 16 or 32 gigs of dual channel RAM and up to 1 terabyte of M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD. We will start off the benchmarks with Passmark, which is an artificial test made to push the CPU, GPU, RAM and storage to their maximum. The Minis Forum Elite Mini HX90 scores an extremely impressive 6091, with excellent CPU scores and above average scores for the other tests. This is the highest scoring device for Passmark which we have benchmarked so far. PC Mark tests computers for the more day-to-day -day tasks that you may perform. Real-life tasks such as web browsing, using large office documents, media consumption and image or video editing. The Elite Mini HX90 scores 6682. This puts it in the range of higher-end mini PCs and again it's one of the best scores we've seen. 3D Mark tests the GPU and CPU to see how they perform together for graphics rendering. It's not just for gaming, which the HX90 is very capable of, but also important for tasks like video decoding and image processing. The HX90 scores a very impressive 1699, with the highest scoring performance of similar devices of this specification. As mentioned, the Minis Forum HX90 is a very capable mini PC for gaming, thanks to its AMD Ryzen 9 CPU and GPU. These benchmarks are done at maximum settings to fully test. In usual circumstances, you would need to run the games at lower settings to have better performance. We start with Forza Horizon 4 which is running at 1280x720 resolution on the default ultra settings. 
The benchmark finishes with 56 frames per second, which is great. Lowering one or two graphic settings down a level will get you a stable 60 FPS no problem. Next, we are running the first match on Street Fighter V Benchmark at 1920x1080 on the maximum graphic settings. The match finishes with an average of 38.8 frames per second. By dropping the resolution to 720p or reducing a few graphic settings, you could easily reach a stable 60fps. New to our benchmarks is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We are running at 1280x720 and running the benchmarks on lowest, medium and highest settings to get a range of performance scores. The scores are 71 on lowest, 42 on medium and 36 on the highest. They are pretty decent results. You should be able to get a stable 60 FPS on a mix of low and medium settings. We finished the benchmarks with Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker running at 1920x1080 with high desktop settings. The Minis Forum Elite Mini HX90 finishes with a score of 4012 with a standard rating. This means that the game will play at high graphic settings with an overall solid performance. A quick summary of the benchmark results. The scores are very impressive, with some of the best benchmark results we have seen for Passmark on a mini PC, and not forgetting the highest on 3D Mark for its hardware specification. Overall, I am very impressed with the Minis Forum Elite Mini HX90. As a home or office work mini PC, it excels. As a gaming machine, it also does a very good job. If you are a casual gamer, then this is a highly considerable option. It would also be ideal in the living room as a second PC for casual gaming or streaming from your main PC. You also have the bonus of it supporting two internal 2.5 inch drives and fast Ethernet. So it's great, for example, as a NAS for media and storage. If you are looking for a high performance mini PC, then look no further. We will finish off with some games and emulator footage. We will be using the original game audio, so there's no voiceover for this part.
We hope you have enjoyed the video and had a better look at what the HX90 Windows Mini PC is capable of. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you back for the next one.